Today on Mead Mythbusters, we're testing to see if yeast retain flavor from their previous brew. Let's get started. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Here's what we're doing today. I have some yeast I used for a different brew right here. I washed them after I finished the brew and I'm going to reuse them. So my real test is seeing whether or not the yeast retained certain flavor characteristics from its previous mead um, and if it will impart those into the new mead. Now I'm using these, this specific one because this came from a um, hot honey mead that I had made. The honey had chili peppers in it and basically was very hot. So I should be able to pick up some heat from this if this is true. I should see that the yeast imparts some, some of that chili flavor into this mead. This thing is a, uh, an orange blossom mead. It is 1.5 pounds of honey, about a little less than a half a gallon of water. And this yeast, which was the Red Star Premier Classic, and uh, we're gonna be, of course, using all of this here in a moment. The starting gravity for this is pretty high at 1.120. So, uh, like I said, this came from a hot honey mead. This thing naturally will have no heat to it. There's no peppers and nothing in it. So if there is any heat involved in this, it will definitely be coming from what the yeast have. And that's kind of the myth I wanna test. So let's see if this is true. I've already ma made the must, uh, I skipped my, you know, making of that. I'm gonna pour this right in. I haven't talked about washing your yeast before on a video, um, but it's a super simple process. Ooh, very interesting. So essentially what you do is you take your old yeast from the bottom of whatever you've made and you uh, put a little bit of, you rack off it of course, you put some water into like a container here, the yeast fall to the bottom, then you pour out uh, the stuff that's not the yeast and you're left with just the yeast. So the good thing about reusing yeast and washing in general uh, is you are saving money for one but two i'm really curious to see what kind of flavors are imparted here so i'm going to put a lid onto this thing we're going to let it ferment and we're going to see whether this hot honey uh, what this came from imparts any flavor to here i will say this some of you might be asking well you know you might have left a little bit of the hot honey mixture in the yeast I didn't. I washed the yeast really thoroughly, made sure and just get the yeast, no must, no extra anything else. So don't worry about that. All right, I'm gonna put my lid on this and we're gonna let it ferment. It should ferment and we'll see what happens. Here's a little reused yeast update. You can see on this thing that it is fermenting. The yeast have picked up and started going. So we will see if there is any hot um, heat from these yeast after being in a hot honey meat. Okay, we are back. We're gonna do a taste test of this mead. And I'm here with Chris and Reed, and they're here to taste it and tell me what they get from it. Now you guys know, you've been watching the video, um, kind of the purpose of the video, they know nothing about this meat. So, yeah, uh, no, and I've tried to keep it as vague as possible and they've been a little sketched out, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go Check ahead and try it, it and fun. they're just gonna tell you what they get from it. Okay. Go ahead. Wow. It's got a really present taste to it. It's very sweet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What is that? Yeah, I can't. At quite, the end, I can't quite identify what I'm drinking right now. I'm trying not to get tip my hand. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes like it's high alcohol. Mm -hmm. it was, I can tell you that it is yeah, definitely high alcohol. Percent somewhere in there. I've got like something. I don't know what it is, but like on like my exhalations on on the back of my throat, there's like some taste. I can't quite identify it. Mm -hmm. It's really difficult. It just, <clears throat> yeah, it's the, the finite or fine tasting side's hard. Well, I get vanilla characteristics. Okay, interesting. Mm, I'm getting almost like a bit of cinnamon. A little bit of cinnamon at the. At I the could see end. that, yeah. There's a little bit of. 
I think I'd used orange blossom honey with this one. So it should have okay. some fruity characters to it. Um, okay. It is just a traditional, but that doesn't mean that you can't get, you know, spices out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very complex mm -hmm. traditional. Hmm. Anything else you guys notice? If you don't, don't feel pressured to try and <laughs> make anything. Yeah. All I, I mean, it just tastes like it's a heavy, high alcohol, like, very sweet mead, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'll tell you what I did. Okay. Uh, this is a test to, I had a made a hot honey mead, and I'd used a yeast. Okay. I then took the leftover yeast from that, mm -hmm. and um, and washed them, and then I made the another brew with the same yeast, okay. without using <clears throat> hot honey, to see if heat from the yeast stayed in the yeast, quote, if they retain the flavor, then yeah. you put it into a new brew. So with you saying you're getting something on the end, mm -hmm. yeah, you should yeah, be spice. getting some kind of habanero, hopefully. See, as soon as, that's like what was on the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure that that was like a pepper. Yeah. 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 And now, now you say that, like, I'm like, yeah, that was a pepper, but it was something like herbal, but I didn't know that like cinnamon spice to it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I think this like, one's a little bit difficult because there is the high ABV component of mm -hmm. it being uh, like bitey for that reason. Yeah. Um, it's hard to differentiate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not sure if it's the alcohol the or... Feels. So it definitely, it's light. There's not a ton of that heat presence, in my opinion mm -hmm. at least. I feel like it's definitely there, but... Um, <clears throat> it's very interesting because it's not very forward at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. It's just at the end. It's like, yeah, it, it's... Uh, like the last thing you feel. Like yeah. for me, I feel it in my throat. Yep. And definitely like exhaling, you, you kind yeah. of get that same taste. Okay, well yeah, as soon as you said that, I was like, <laughs> See, that's why I didn't want to, I didn't want to yeah. say it because yeah. then you get, you. That and then sense. we know. So yeah. I, I don't, I can't say for every single yeast, but I think in this case, um, yeast definitely retained that heat um, mm -hmm. from that. Oh, definitely. And uh, again, that's not for every brew. Like if you brew with apples and then your yeast is probably, might not keep an apple flavor, but yeah. I found that to be kind of interesting. Yeah. So yeah. Huh. Cool. Thank you guys for your help with the tasting. Yeah, Appreciate no problem. It. And, very, uh, very interesting. Now I see why I was, thanks, thanks for not being too sketched out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Try this good, alcohol so. and I'm not telling yeah. you what it is. It's like every, every uh, home brewer's nightmare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty good. Cool. I like it. It is, yeah. It's just <clears throat> strong. It's yeah, very, it is. Uh, what is the ABV on it? This guy it started at one point one two zero, so we're looking at a fifteen and a half, probably. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. It's like it feels like fifteen. Yeah. Every bit of fifteen. Mm -hmm. So, cool. cool. Well, thanks again for your help. Yeah, no problem. All right, that's the end of this video. So I want to address a couple of questions, maybe concerns you have uh, in the comments, or before you have to post a comment. First thing is I. I am very confident that whenever I pulled the yeast off the previous brew and washed it, that I washed them very thoroughly and I got rid of um, all of the must that was on there from before. Now, some of you are gonna say, well, you probably didn't wash it super well and that's what left some of that hot honey um, mead and then that just imparted a little flavor into the brew. I don't believe that's that happened here um, and not just because I want to be belligerent but because I actually feel like I, I washed the yeast really well so there's that there's also the other part of this in that could there have been some hot some heat coming from the alcohol that could be misconstrued as um, as some sort of like heat from the yeast at our test yes but I think um, like you saw Chris and Reed say, they had some kind of spiciness. They had some sort of like exhaling side that makes you feel like you're you got like some fire, some burn in some, some way. And I don't think that normally comes from high ABV things. Um, I've drank a lot of high ABV meads and whiskeys and things like that. And uh, while you can get that feeling with the whiskey, you don't normally get that with like a mead. So I think it was coming from the yeast. The whole bulk of this test is not to be silly. I mean, I, in reality, I think that this information is very important, but it also isn't that useful. Namely because the amount of flavor that the yeast imparted was so small, and you could use that for effect and things, but I don't think it's gonna extend out to other flavors like, like 
let's say apples or pears, fruits, maybe, maybe other spices, you could get some retaining flavors and use that in your brew. But I highly doubt you're gonna be using this technique to impart flavors you want in your mead, wine, or beer. And that's not to say don't go do it, but that's to say that at the end of the day, this whole method is not necessarily super, super useful. But it is definitely interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you think down below, um, what your opinion is about the whole test. Maybe you have some experience with this in your own right. Um, I would just love to hear from you guys. But this has been a lot of fun. I wanna say thanks to Chris and Reed for helping me out. Uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun to do. And I'll be, of course, doing more testing and things like this. If you want to support the channel, the best thing you can do um, for helping the channel grow is to like this video and comment. If you leave a comment asking a question, just saying, hey, anything like that, what happens is you, YouTube in the world we live in um, picks the videos that uh, have more comments and have more likes and those silly things. And not that I want my content to be out in the world like like I think I'm better than anybody. Rather, I think that we should be liking and commenting and sharing videos for mead in general. So I hope that you will share maybe this video, another future video to help the YouTube world um, grow, help the mead world grow in general. So I hope you have a great day. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.